All right, I've got a great opportunity here to talk about HVAC temperature sensors, how the circuits work, how you can manipulate them, and even how you can use your knowledge of this stuff to get customers cooling in a jam like I did here since the zone sensor was five months on back order. All right, so we have a Linux controller, a Prodigy. And what's going on on the circuit board, and this, this is very, very common, this circuit design. You'll find this in the automotive world, HVAC world. This is an extremely common circuit design. So over here, you have uh, a thermistor, normally NTC, negative temperature coefficient. So what that means is that as that thermistor gets colder, its resistance goes up. And then you have the controller, and on the controller circuit board, you've got an IC that's going to send out a logic voltage. That logic voltage is going to go through a resistor. It's going to go out to the sensor and then come back to ground. And the IC is also going to look at the voltage drop across this resistor. So it knows what the logic voltage is, and then the voltage that ends up on this side of the resistor on the circuit board is going to be directly proportional to how this resistance changes. Okay, that's, that's just electrical... Uh, law slash theory 101 all right so and this is also why you can short these wires out on a controller without any fear of damaging the circuit board because all that's going to happen is just that your voltage is going to drop completely across this resistor so what the IC is going to see right here is just zero volts and then it will know that this is shorted. If this is open, it will also know that because what it will see is full logic voltage going through this resistor and back to the IC because there is no voltage drop when there can't be current flow, right? So we're going to look at how this actually works in real life. We're also going to look at what I did to um, trick well not really trick but to give the controller what it needed to provide this customer with cooling okay we're at the prodigy controller and see the zat zone air temp is 77 okay and on the sensor pins i have got 1.7 volts DC so I'm gonna guess that this is like a maybe a 3.3 logic let's take a wire off there and see what we read all right so I've opened the zone air temp and of course created an alarm now because I'm taking that resistor out of circuit now there is no voltage drop we have an open circuit so let's look at what we're reading is 3.3 and the reason I knew that is based on what it was before the fact that you know it's kind of like halfway in its range and this is a very common logic voltage another common one is 5 volts all right so now uh, let's just do some things to kind of play with this board <laughs> This is perfectly safe, uh, by the way, which I will show you next, I think. About that glare, it's just very bright out here. Okay, so there's our temperature. Now, I'm gonna directly short that with this needle jumper. So let's watch what happens. All right, you see how I set a code there? So it knows that it's shorted, obviously. Take the short off. Let's 
let's look at the voltage. It'll be right back to what it was supposed to be. See that? So you can't damage these circuits by shorting them. All you're doing is just dropping the voltage over the resistor. And that resistor is not flowing much current at all. It's a very high value. And based on the fact that the voltage was half and this sensor is a 10K at 77 degrees, which is 25C, that means it should be reading right about 10K right now. And maybe we'll look at that too. Uh, I would guess that the resistor on the board is actually a 10K as well. All right, so I'm just connected across those wires and you can see I've got about 10K. And that's what I did. We're gonna go down and look at this zone sensor and I may or may not be able to talk. It just depends on who's got their eyeballs on me. But what you're gonna see is I disconnected the wires from the thermistor on the circuit board and just put in my own 10K thermistor. And that's how I got them going. Here's the zone sensor, and I'm on this connector, which is connected to this thermistor. So you see my reading there? Now watch as I warm this up. See it going down? And that's exactly what you would expect. This thermistor here had gone open circuit. So what the chip was reading right here at this point was 3.3 volts, and that's how it knew that there was a problem with the thermistor. Now, by the way, uh, uh, 10K thermistors are extremely common in HVAC. Daikin uses 20s except for the discharge. But anyway, when you're talking about 10 or 20 or things like that, what that means is that at 25 degrees Celsius, which is 77 Fahrenheit, this thermistor will read 10,000 ohms. If it's a 20K thermistor, it will read 20,000 ohms at 25C and will help you in your troubleshooting. For example, if you went up to this connector in red 3.3 volts, then you would know that either the thermistor is open or you've got an open wire. If you go up here and you were to read zero volts, then you've either got a bad controller or you've got a short. So you unhook one wire and if your voltage jumps back up to 3.3, your controller logic is good and you've got a short down here. You see how understanding this circuit can greatly help your troubleshooting. Here is the sensor here which went in place of these wires being connected here, which is where this thermistor feeds up to. All right, I've got my new zone uh, sensor in. You can see it's reading the same as the old one, you know, within reason. Also, you may have noticed in the video, I, I didn't notice till I uh, started really looking down here. This this shield is not correct. It, it was on. Well, first of all, I don't even really think you need a shield because this isn't a comm line, okay? But I'll, I'll leave it there. But see, this pin here has direct connection to ground, so the shield needs to go here. I don't know why uh, whoever installed this, it was not us, put the shield up here on the action pin. That can definitely short out your temperature sensor. So I, I fixed that, um, fixed it downstairs as well. All right, it's doing good.